Ah, more that more to see homie today. What's up, familiar? Check it out, just to make note. In this video, I am not discussing Supreme Gangsters, Devil's Disciples, Englewood Disciples, Eastside Disciples, and how the BGD Alliance came about. In layman's terms, I'm discussing how the Latino mobs took on the Disciples name. What's up, homie? Hey, without a doubt, there's a lot of nations using the Disciples name in Chicago. You got Satan Disciples, Maniac Latin Disciples, Spanish Gangster Disciples, Gangster Disciples, Black Disciples, and formerly the Devil's Disciples. And last but not least, the YLODs. Can't forget the YLO Disciples. Now let's talk about where the Disciples name came from. So we have to go back to the late 1950s. 1958, the Devil's Disciples, a black club, would start spreading their influence throughout the mostly black neighborhoods in Chicago. The Devil's Disciples would essentially become what we now know as the Black Disciples. So in the mid-60s, Puerto Rican youth in Humboldt Park was having trouble with the well-established white clubs like the GLs, C-Notes, and Playboys. Those same Puerto Ricans, in retrospect, were tight with the Black Disciples and Devil's Disciples they attended high school with. Hey, it's fair to say that them Puerto Ricans was influenced by the Disciples movement and shortly after would form the Latin Disciples. Now in regards to the Satan Disciples, it's just pure coincidence that they came up with the same name around the same time frame, 1959, the late 50s. The Satan Disciples had no relationship, no alliance, no links to the Black Disciples or the Devil's Disciples. They wouldn't form an alliance with the other Disciple gangs till much later on, 1978, when the Folks Alliance was initially formed. Anyways, my brother, I hope I answered some of your questions. May God bless and ah, more.